we click you you draw your box or rectangle whatever shape you want to put your photo in you click on the photo then you go to effects you select power clip and place inside container and then you click on that large rectangle so that it puts that photo inside there and when I did that it brought this object to the front of the page and I want to move it back to the back so I'm going to use a key combination of shift page down and that pushed it all the way to the back and now you can see I've got my little rectangle back again and the sign that we want to put on on this on this uh, job site is going to be a 29 inch high by six foot three inch wide so we're going to change those dimensions I have five foot three inch you, you can't exceed wind load for an engine a pre-engineered job site all that you can do is drop the uh, the wind load down so our our square that we're going to use right here we have to make it smaller so we're going to do a for a for a 19 millimeter with a matrix of 32 by 80 that is going to be 29 inch tall and it's going to be 5 foot 3 inches wide so that's 63 inches wide and we hit enter and we can see that that our our sign now is smaller than the existing uh, 37 inch by 72 inch existing cabinet and we'll go ahead and fill that in black that's representing our watchfire sign and we see that the the existing cabinet extends out beyond the 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 watchfire that we're going to put on here so we want to get rid of this this extra uh, that we see here and to do that we write I'm going to show you that in the next lesson so I'm going to go ahead and call it quits here but before I call it quits I want to show you one more thing when when you scale and the significance of being accurate when you scale we're going to put the dimensions on this this watch fire sign and uh, just just to add one more thing we're going to I'm, I'm going to use a, a control D to duplicate that box and the visible viewing area of, of this 29 inch by 5 foot 3 inch sign is actually 24 inch by 5 by 60 inch so let's change those dimensions we put 24 by 60 that's the actual viewing area of this sign so let's uh, change the shade a little bit so that you can see the difference and I'm going to hold down the shift key and click this other black box now you can see that I've got both objects selected together and and I started with my secondary box and my primary box that I want to center on was what I clicked on second then I go up here this is the align and distribute tool click on on the tool and I select center and center and because I, I selected the black box second the gray box will center over top when I apply and now I have them centered. Okay, we we've done we've done our scaling. We 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 
we positioned, we like what we've got. Now I'm going to use the dimension tool to call out the dimensions on this side. And the, the dimension is actually too large, so I'm going to undo that. The, the, the text is too large, so I'm going to, without anything selected, make sure nothing is selected when you do this. You click on the text tool and change the point size to 12. And because nothing is selected, it, it will give you this option to say yes for artistic text. I want to make this a default setting. Okay, now I go back to the dimension tool and select the top edge and the bottom edge and then come over here and it's, it's a nicer looking size. So now I select the left and right tool and I'm going to do the left and right. And you can see how accurately it, it makes out that measurement. Now if we wanted, we could change it to, um, to, to a, a finer detail of an eighth inch. And both tools are, are pretty accurate because we assigned this through the scaling tool. Um, if we change this to fractional, then it, you, you get different options there as well. Decimal, um, U.S. architectural works pretty good. Okay, so I wanted you to see the dimension tool, and you can rewind to the beginning to, to review how to do your scaling. And uh, then this box right here, which is uh, two foot by five foot, is where we're actually going to place the watchfire image. Okay, I hope this was helpful. And look for more Mac tutorials coming up. Thank you.